How's it going everyone? It's Josh here with American Wilderness. Today I'm going to show you guys a simple tarp setup with a canvas tarp. This is actually half of a World War II issued uh, US military pup tent. A uh, pup tent is a tent that would be carried by two soldiers because it is a heavier canvas. It splits into two parts. They carry them and when they get to where they're making camp, they put them together. They snap together in the middle of the, um, of the tent. That way it would be um, just basically an A-frame type tent above them and then they'd probably have a baby bag or something for the floor so they wouldn't get wet. Um, but you can also use just half of this as a lean-to. That's what I'm gonna show you guys today. All right, so the gist of what you need to set up this style of shelter is some stakes and a couple of support poles. This type of tent does come with support poles, but I choose not to carry them because they're easy enough to manufacture out in the woods. So, get this laid out here. All right, so I'll start by staking the corners down. This is not gonna be a permanent setup, so I'm not using super hefty stakes. All right, so I got the pup tent, or the half of it all staked out. Um, there's four stakes, one on either side, then two in the back. And now I'm gonna take these two support poles here them inside these grommets. Might be a little bit too long, but it'll work for us. Support poles go in just like that. And then just to give it some extra strength, comes with these two ropes on it that you can just stake out, pound in, and that'll prevent it from falling over. Alright everyone, so this is the gist of the half pup tent lean-to shelter. Um, this is what I personally use all the time, unless it's the summer I usually use a hammock. Um, but if Brad and I are camping together, sometimes we'll put the two halves together and that's a really nice shelter as well. But you can lower the support beams or raise them and change the stakes up, do whatever you need to do to get this the perfect shape for you. You can lower it so it's a longer shelter or raise it so it's a steeper shelter. I like it sort of the way that it is because I like to be able to sit up in my shelter, but um, it's not 100% waterproof. It will not hold water if you're trying to use it to catch rain or something like that because it isn't waxed. You can wax it yourself if you want to, but it seems to work well. If it's raining, it'll shed the rain. If it's snowing, it'll shed the snow. So you can see the snaps running up and along the ridge of the shelter. This is where the second half of the pup tent would snap on so that it turns into one tent and then these flaps on the front would open up as doors. It's a solid shelter, again it's from World War II and Brad and I are really big fans of American history and what people have used throughout time so it's really nice being able to use the type of shelter that people would have used quite a long time ago. So I'm Josh with American Wilderness, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.